guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my journey through infertility. Um, if you know me, I always wanted kids since I was little. I wanted to have a big family. I wanted kids at a young age. Yes, I know. I'm not promoting young age having babies, if that makes sense. Um, or teen pregnancies. I'm 20. Um, but yeah, since I was little, I've always wanted kids. But now I'm finding out that it might be a little harder for me to have kids. So when I was 12, I had my period a month after my birthday. And my period has been, was, like every month the same time we're supposed to. And then it started acting up when I was 16. I used to work out really hard and starve myself, which is not a good thing to do. One sec, there's a cat. Do you know, say hi. All right, she doesn't want to be in the video. But yeah, I used to work out and starve myself, which don't do that. That's not good for you. If you want to work out and lose weight, eat healthy and work out. But I was starving myself. So then I used to miss my periods. And then it went from one month to two months to three months. Once when I was 17, I had them, I didn't have a period for like eight months. And then they slowly came back. And then went away. So I thought it was from working out and starving myself. So I stopped doing that. I totally stopped working out, which I shouldn't have. But I stopped working out. I started eating again. And then my periods started to show up here and there. But still not regularly. Um, and then all of a sudden, I didn't have my period for eight months again. So I went to the doctors last March and told them that and they were like they took blood they checked all my hormones and all that and my estrogen was fine my hormones were fine I had a cyst in my ovaries but I don't know if it's still there um it's normal I guess so I had that and sorry if I'm all over the place I've never done this kind of thing but um yeah I did blood work. I had an ultrasound, an internal one, and an outside. And then they were wondering because they felt around my neck. They were like, hmm, feel swollen. I think now that it was a lymph node, but they thought, oh, it might be my thyroid, which I'm like, okay, if it's my thyroid, that might be an easy fix. Maybe it's that. Got an ultrasound on my thyroid, it was fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. So, they've been doing more tests. I missed my period last month, but after September of 2018, I got my period on September, and then all of a sudden I had it every month. But it wasn't, like, normal. It was all over the place, but still I had one every month. And sometimes it was five days, sometimes it was two. And then all of a sudden I went to my last doctor's appointment, and I didn't have my period last month. And they think my ovaries are failing. I'm only 20 and they're failing. Brandon and I have wanted to have kids. After last year, the doctor saying that um, last March that I couldn't have kids, period. And then I went to the doctor's in Bay and they're like, you have ovaries. You can have kids. We just have to figure out why your cycles are weird. And now she's saying that my ovaries are failing, or she thinks my ovaries are failing. I guess, I don't know what was high, but I know my estrogen was low, and I guess that's a sign of my ovaries failing, but they're not entirely sure yet. So they took more blood, and I'm supposed to be going back there in like tonight, three days to see if my hormones are still like that and what to do. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is so I have other people, like, there's other people in this world that's going through my problem 
and maybe they'll help uh, comfort me or tell me their story because it is hard because when they told me last year I couldn't have kids, I was devastated. I was crying for days. I was depressed. Sorry. <laughs> but I've always wanted kids and them telling me that. really hurt because I was the one person in my whole family that my life I wanted kids I want to have my own family and I'm the one with infertility problems so it's not about crying it's just it's a hard topic to talk about because I get depressed and that's why I keep myself busy because if I don't then I'm just gonna get depressed and cry all the time so yeah um sorry hopefully they will be able to figure out why my hormones are acting out that's the re like they don't know what to do yet because they want to see who my hormone levels are now and then they're going to see what to do next. Um, my doctor said if they can't do anything about it, I have to go to a fertility clinic. Um, but I have a lot of supportive friends that said if I can't have kids, <laughs> that my sister Kelly said she should surrogate for me. Another friend of mine, she said she would surrogate for me. She said she would carry a baby for me. And then another friend told me if there was such a thing as, like, ovary implant, then she would give me her ovaries because they all know that I've always wanted kids. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't mean to cry. I didn't want to cry in this video. I didn't think I would cry in this video because I haven't been crying. But I have been depressed and sad. That's why my videos are all over the place. Because I've been trying to film. But I'm always working. And then when I get home, too tired. And then I've been trying to go to the gym. And I... Just, oh my god. Sorry guys. I didn't mean to cry for you for this. I don't want to crap this video. My, if you hear background noises, it's my cats. Um, yeah, if any of you ladies are going through the same problems, I'd like to talk because this is hard and I don't know that many people. I don't even know anyone with my problem. And, yeah. I have friends to talk to, but no one that's going through what I'm going through. And my cats are being a little pain in the butt right now. Just ignore the background noises. But yeah, um, I was going to make this video for a long time, but I've been putting it off because I didn't know what to talk about and how to do it. And sorry again if it's all over the place. I've never done a video like that, like this, but... Um, I will be doing update videos once I, my next doctor's appointment and we see what's going on, but pray for me. I would love if it's an easy fix because I'm only 20, so it should be an easy fix, but who knows. I've never had to go through this. Well, I am going through this now, but I never thought I'd be going through this because... I thought it'd be easy, find a guy, be happy, and get married, have kids, and it's not that easy. Being an adult is not that easy. But yeah, another reason why I thought my peers were all over the place is because I used to do graveyards at Tim Hortons, and well, <coughs> I thought the stress and because I used to be up at night and sleep during the day, so my body was messed up from that. I thought that was the reason why 
I stopped having my periods, but no, it's more. I'm not fertile or there's something wrong with me and I'm going through infertility and I I really want a kid, I really want a family. It's hard to think about my future when I can't even think about having kids. Like, if I can't have kids, I don't know what I can, what I'll do. I know I can probably, my sister was served it for me. She said she will, but I'm always worried about her, like, if she does surrogate for me, it's going to be hard on her, and she doesn't know what. She just wants me to be happy, but it's going to affect her because she'll have to get pregnant, and then she'll bond. But then after she goes through all that, the baby's not hers. It's my baby, and it's kind of hard because I don't know how I would feel if I surrogate for someone. I know that's kind of mean, but I think I would be attached and it'd be depressing for me so I just don't want her to go through that but yeah um I think I talked about all the stuff I know for now but yeah I'm going back to the doctor's three days uh she wanted me to come back like two weeks after that appointment and three days it's almost here. The time flew really fast. Um, my last point was, was on January 29th, but yeah. So I'm going back and I will do another update video. I'm sorry about crying. Um, I'm a big baby. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below your stories, um, and subscribe if you want to, and, <coughs> sorry, click that notification button so you'll be notified when I upload my next video, and I'll see you in my next video, and again, sorry I was crying. And yes, I am a Canadian, so I say sorry a lot, so sorry. <laughs> Bye, guys.